Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the SyncWire Magnetic Wireless Car Charger. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here are the specs. It says material, aluminum alloy, silicone, technology, built-in magnetic coil. Input is 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Output is 5 watts, 7.5 watts, 10 watts, and 15 watts. It comes with a 1.2 meter USB-C cable. And here are the features. It says wireless charging and the car mount integrated as one. Specifically designed to charge iPhone 13 series, 12 series. Support wireless charge for iPhone 8 or later. Seamless coil alignment and fast charge up to 15 watts. Magnetic design and easy installation for safe driving. Okay, let's open this up. This is a warranty policy. Here's the user manual. So here's a product diagram. Has an air vent mounting grip, pivot locking nut, ball joint, release knob, supporting bracket, magnetic sticker, positioner, and round sticker. We have the specs again. So this talks about how to connect it to a vent. And if you don't have a magnetic compatible phone, it talks about how to mount this metal plate to it. So here's a template. You would put this on top of your phone and then you could adhere this metal plate. So I'll be testing this with an iPhone 13 mini. Let's pull out the charger. So here it is, it has silicone here. It's plastic and aluminum, so it has aluminum on the edge here, so it's very nice. It has a great fit and finish. Here's the cable. This is a USB Type-C to USB Type-A, and then we have the clamp here. So this has silicone in it, so if we loosen this up, you can see the pads, and this will clamp onto your mount. So this should work on horizontal and vertical vents in a car. It won't work on round vents. Then you have a ball joint, so if we loosen this up here, you can pop that in and tighten this down and it will hold the position we want to hold. So as we saw in the specs here, it does require input of five volts at three amps, nine volts at two amps, or 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So this may not be compatible with the USB port that may be in your car. So you'd want to use something like this. This is a 20 watt car charger. So I'll put a link below to this also. In my shop here, I'm going to test with this 18 watt power delivery charger. So I'll plug that in to my outlet. Of course that has USB-C on it. So I have a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Now when I plug this into the car, this does have an A on it. But just for testing purposes, I'll use this. Okay, so now I can put my phone on here to get the right orientation. So I'll set that on there. And we're charging. So this could be rotated 90 degrees, still charging. So you can mount this on the vent like this. You start doing some navigation, you just rotate it, and then you can use it in uh, landscape mode. Then if you want it in your other mode, you can do like this, like if you're using some sort of app that is vertical. So that has a very good grip on here. You can see I can shake this and it's not coming off. So that's due to the magnets inside here and the silicone. Now here I do have a slim case. So with this case, I can put it on here and it's charging through the case, but it doesn't hold it as well. So in that case, I could put this pad on the back side here and I could adhere that. And then if I put that on, that will hold better and it will still allow charging, as you can see. So if you run your phone bare, you can just put it right on here. If you use a case, you can use this pad on the back of your case. So I'm going to head out to my car and I'll demonstrate this in the car. Okay, I'm in my 2016 Subaru Outback and I'm going to be plugging in the power adapter down here. And I have my vent here, and I have the vent clip. I'll just slide that over the vent and I'll tighten it down. Like so. Okay, that's very sturdy. I can put the nut on there, and then I can connect the charger. So now I'll thread that nut on. It's a little difficult to do one-handed. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so you can actually connect these up together and then put it on the vent, but for demonstration purposes, I wanted to do it separately. So next I'm going to plug this in on the bottom, right about here. So I'm going to set the camera down to do that. And I'm also going to tighten up this nut. Okay, so I have it plugged in. There's a very subtle glow here under it. So if it was nighttime, you'd be able to see this a little easier, but it's not going to be so bright that it's going to blind you. It's just very, very subtle. So if you have this, say in a lower area that's dark in your car, you can tell where the charger is. So now I'll place my phone in the charger. It automatically positions. I can turn it 90 degrees for navigation. When I want to take it off, I just pull it off. Show that again. I can just pull it off and put it on. 
and it's also charging wirelessly. So that's the SyncWire magnetic phone mount with wireless charging. If you're looking for an easy way to mount your phone in your car, especially if your phone has the wireless charging and the magnetic mount, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.